Do you want to do an amazing stretch on your thighs and hip joints? Let's do Jack Knife Blaster. This is quite an intense pose and you're going to need a wall, maybe some yoga blocks, ideally two, and you'll probably need a towel too. <laughs> and if you're new here, please check out the introduction video because this video is is a part of a flexibility training series. You can find the link up here or down in the description below. So let's go. So come and bring your mat up to the edge of the wall. Grab one towel and place your blocks at the front of your mat and come and bring your right leg so the shin comes up against the wall and your knee is in the corner. So grab your towel to pad up your knee. You'll place that against the edge of the wall. Bring your right leg up. So the toes are pointing upwards. You can stay here if it's feeling very intense on your thigh. If you want to intensify, bring your left leg forwards, walk the foot forwards, forwards, forwards. So the ankle is in front of the knee. Grab your blocks here. You can have your blocks into the inside of your leg or one either side of your leg, however feels comfortable for you. So try to lift your chest up, drop your hips down. If it feels intense on your wrists, you can bring both blocks into the center and come down onto both of your elbows. So get in a comfortable position for you. It can be here or up here, wherever is good for you, okay? And let's start the timer. I want you to inhale for a count of four through your nose and exhale out your mouth for a count of eight. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And breathe here at your own pace. Four, eight, breathing. So try to relax as much as you can. Feel this very deep stretch in your hips and in your thigh. As you exhale, try to relax and let go. And any time, if you want to change your position, that's okay. If you want to come down onto your elbows, that's okay too. If you want to go a bit further, you can come and try to bring your elbows down to the floor here. So just do whatever feels comfortable for you. So you might find as we go further through the pose that you can go deeper. That's okay. Go for it. If you want to back off and come out of the pose, that's okay too. So try to relax as much as you can and let go. Concentrate on your breath, on your breathing. Remember, inhale for a count of four and exhale 
to a count of eight. This helps to relax your nervous system and this helps to relax your body, your muscles, so you can get a deeper stretch to help improve your flexibility. Remember, relax, concentrate on your breath. Keep going, you're doing amazing. You can do it. <laughs> We're almost there. Okay, nice work. So if your elbows are on the blocks, come up to your hands. And now this is the fun part, trying to come out. So you're gonna move this leg back and however's good for you, try to release this back leg off the wall and then come back and let's go straight into the other side. So move your towel to the other side of your mat. Bring your left knee into the corner of the wall and the floor, toes pointing up against the wall. Remember, you can stay here if it's feeling very intense. If you want to feel a deeper stretch, bring your right leg forwards and then use the blocks to support your arms. Walk your legs forward the ankle is past the knee and in front of the knee. So this just helps to keep you more stable and support and less pressure on your knee. Have your hands here on the block or you can come down to your elbows, whatever is good for you. And let's start. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And breathe here at your own pace. Inhale for a count of four and exhale with control for a count of eight. And remember this breathing techniques helps to relax your nervous system which helps to relax your muscles so you can get a deeper stretch. If you want to stay here up on your hands or come down to your elbows or hands down to the floor, that's okay. So anytime, if you want to change the position, go for it, whatever feels good for you. And try to relax as much as you can. Try to let go and feel this 
wonderful stretch in your thigh and maybe even your hip joint too. So just focus on your breath, on your breathing. Try to relax your body, your muscles as much as you can. Give in to the stretch. Remember, relax as much as you can. Try to let go. Give in to the stretch, the pose. If it's feeling too intense and you want to come up and back out, that's okay. Just listen to your body. Whatever feels good for you. You're doing awesome. Keep at it. You're almost there. Okay, nice work. So come bring your hands up. Try to lift yourself up. And then nice and gently, you can bring your hands oh, down to the floor if you want to. Bring your leg down off the wall. Ooh, <laughs> what a good stretch here. Yeah. Come sit in a comfortable position on your mat. Bring your hands to your heart center. And just take a few breaths here and notice how you feel, how your legs feel. And just relax as much as you can. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, open out to the side. Back to your heart center, in reverse, inhale, open your arms out, up to the sky, palms together, exhale down to your heart center. And thank you so much for joining in Jackknife Blaster. <laughs> so how do you feel after that stretch? Let me know in the comments and I'll reply. <laughs> if you want to make English yoga a habit, please subscribe to my channel so it helps to support me and I can help support you on your English yoga journey. If you want to do some more flexibility training, check out this playlist right here. If not, you can learn some English 
in this video right here, which I'll talk about English used in yoga. <laughs>